Monologue train. Monologue train. Yay! All game. Everybody up to the stage, please. Yay! Form a line. All right. What's going to happen here is these five improvings in line are going to talk to you about something that's on their mind or an event in their life. So, uh, what is a, what's a big moment in your life? Buying a house. Buying a house is your suggestion. Yay. This game is called Monologue Train. Alright, improvements, are you ready? Yay! Yay! are you ready? Yay! So, this is my first time living out on my own. So I decided, like, what the hey, I'll buy a house. So I went over to the bank, which is apparently the first place you go, according to my dad. And I said, hey guys, can you give me a house? And they're like, what are you talking about? And I was like, oh my gosh, my name is Jennifer, and I would like a house. So I went in, and I, uh, I gave them, um, you know, just, you know, as barter, you know, kind of like leverage so they could have, take something. I gave them my dog, Mr. Noodles. <laughs> and I went out of the bank, and I said, I'll be back to the final house. Can you just give me some money? So they did, and I left Mr. Noodles, and I walked three blocks down the street, that's funny, three blocks down the street. I did it, but anyway, it, and then I found this really cool house. It was super cute. It was kind of a fixer-upper, though. It was uh, big and white, and it had rainbow shutters. And I said, you know what, Jennifer? You deserve something with a little pizzazz, you know, something some, something that, like, is going to make you feel happy when you come home every day. Um, and ironically, one weird thing about the house is that it had a doggy door in it, and that was kind of ironic because I had given the mate my dog, Mr. Noodles, <laughs> and so there was nobody to use the doggy door, but I figured maybe some, like, squirrels or something in the neighborhood would use it. So, um... So, um, I started to sing my dog, and I was just like, I'm sitting here in this living room, and it'd be so much better if I had my little puppy with me. And so I was like, I need to go get my dog. So I started plotting. Okay. So I applauded to go out and get this dog. And I was like, it's at the bank. I know it's at the bank. I need to go in and get the bank. And I just... So I gathered me some <laughs> 11 different compatriots. And one of them was a Chinese acrobat. And I don't know why I got him, because I don't speak no Chinese. But we took him to the bank. And he crawled in. He crawled in all China. <laughs> Did push-ups. You know, he was just a distraction, really. <laughs> so then the other ten guys just bum rushed the, the vault, and they decided that they were going to just take the vault door and tear it off. But then I decided, wait a second, why is Mr. Noodle going to be in the vault? He's going to die. He's going to be in a place where there's going to be dog food. And, oh, Jesus. And, dog, <laughs> and dog treats? And dog, dog, like, friends for him to hang out with? And then I saw a giant puddle of saliva on the floor, and I was like, oh! So, so, I was like, I have to follow the rule. So I, I got down on all fours because I'm like, I have to get in the mind of the dog. And so I got down on all fours and I started like crawling out to the drill and following it through the bank. And what you know is that goddamn Chinese actor dragged himself across the floor behind the tongue. <laughs> I told you I didn't pay you to drag yourself across the floor. I paid you to go distract people so I could get my dog back. Now where's the fucking dog, son? And, well, son of a bitch. <laughs> Which decided to quit, so he quit. And then he left, and I decided, well, shit, I still don't have my dog. I need them in this lone bank. I don't know where the fuck I am. My dog is missing. Let's go find my dog. So I went and I found him. It was that easy. He was sitting next to me the whole time. He was following me. <laughs> he was following me because he recognized the scent of my shoes because he peed on my shoes, and so they smelled like him. So. Because every time I come home, he would pee on my shoes because he was so happy to see me. But also because I only feed a Mountain Dew and not, you know, not things that they're supposed to eat. So what I decided to do is... I decided to feed him real food just for one time. Because I thought it would be funny, you know, he ate Mountain Dew all his life. And, then and so since I found him, I had to give him a reward. So I gave him real food that I found in this trash can. And he ate it, and wouldn't you know it, son of a bitch explode. 